to join Mr. Esberto to hand out the awards, we'd like to call um, Director General of ERI, Dr. Robert Ziegler, and also Deputy Director General of Partnerships and Communications, Dr. Bruce Tolentino, and from Smart Developer Network, uh, the one hosting also with ERI this event, Mr. Paul Pavo on the stage. game app and the best game app goes to
uh, the one week stint in Erie to really bring your application to completion. So I'll uh, turn over the mic to Marco to announce this one. Okay, well, I can already start by saying that the, the winner of the uh, week in Erie is not a team that has won an award yet. So there's still hope for the other teams out there. I can also say that uh, once I uh, told Bob that he uh, said, this is going to be interesting, that team will, uh, during that week at Erie, I think, change the landscape at Erie uh, significantly. Because the winner is the Robotics A team. organically so we're just going to leave him here on the table and we fully trust that they won't be here on the table on Monday okay see what I mean uh, thanks everybody for coming uh, it's not over yet because we have uh, our big boss give you his own opinion about what happened here uh, again may I introduce you to Dr. Bob Ziegler Thank you very much, Marco. It's a great time to be at Erie on a Sunday afternoon, I have to say. Um, a number of comments I wanted to say, uh, kind of lightheartedly, etc. I think, uh, first of all, it, before I get into my uh, monologue here, I really would like to thank all of you for coming out and spending your time, and especially SMART and PLDT. And it, Marco was saying, reminding me of the extra bandwidth, told me I've got to get back home quick and start downloading a bunch of movies. <laughs> you didn't know? It's good. Maybe I'll get away with it. Um, no, this is, this is really a great event. I mean, we've been uh, really scratching our heads about how to tap into the, to the brightest young minds uh, in the Philippines, get them excited about it, get you excited about agriculture and how agriculture and IT and cutting edge research science can come together to really transform the lives of rice farmers. And of course, if we transform the lives of rice farmers, we transform the lives of rice consumers. If we transform the lives of rice consumers, we transform the lives of half the world's population. So what you guys are doing is just really outstanding. Uh, now, Marco, when he asked me to come down and, and, and make the closing remarks and stuff, now I have to confess, I did sneak in uh, this morning I watched about two-thirds of the presentations and I thought they were just great and really I loved the enthusiasm and, and excitement that, that, was, that was there and the camaraderie. He said I had to dress like a, uh, like a hacker, at least dress in a way that I would not uh, feel uncomfortable in the presence of hackers, and which is the way I usually dress on weekends every, and anyway. But I, and I often or almost always come down to the office on weekends and uh, when I'm dressed as I am comfortable, my wife, you know, says, you're not, you don't look like you're comfortable, Bob, you look like you're a bum. And so she always <laughs> makes me change my clothes when I come down to the office. But this morning, she got on a plane at uh, 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock to travel to the U.S. And I figured I could dress any way I pleased. 
So about, unfortunately, about 45 minutes ago, I got a message from her saying that her flight was canceled and she's on her way back home. So when I get home, I'm in real trouble. Uh, and uh, just as a complete aside, uh, Marco mentioned that I'm often referred to as Dr. Bob. And for those of you who would like to see the origin of that, I send you to YouTube to look at a Muppets skit in which Dr. Bob, who is a puppet and a dog, performs surgery on a chicken. And you can uh, have a look at it. My sister-in-law named me that when I got my PhD and gave me a Dr. Bob name tag. Now, uh, one last um, remark to, to follow up on what uh, Marco was saying, uh, that uh, you, we welcome you out here, that uh, we hope they will have a hackathon every year, and that we can get folks back, and we will have an increasingly sophisticated array of, uh, of apps available for the, the growingly available Android smartphones and tablets, etc. Uh, we have the Secretary of Agriculture from India, the person who controls all of agricultural extension and, uh, across uh, the subcontinent, basically. And he is really excited to, about what's happening here. And I think we'll see this idea replicate uh, around the world in agriculture, already being used for social uh, areas, but not so much in, in, in agriculture. And I know that uh, there was a personal prize of a, of a honeymoon suite that apparently would, um, would not come out of uh, 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 Bruce's budget, except that considering we do not have a honeymoon suite in the guest house, we'll have to make one, and that will probably come out of Bruce's budget. <laughs> and I was thinking that uh, when he announced that uh, the first prize was one week in Erie, I was hoping he wasn't going to say the second prize is two weeks in it. <laughs> but seriously, uh, this could be a great, a great environment for, for a young person starting out uh, in the field of IT. You work in a very dynamic environment here. Uh, and, and if you're looking for work, you find a job out here. It doesn't have to be forever. Uh, a stint of two, three, four years. Uh, can immerse you in what's going on, and, and I guarantee you, if you have on your resume that you had four years at Erie working in IT, developing apps and, and, and completely changing how agriculture is communicated to farmers, you will have no problem getting a good job after that. Uh, so, once again, delighted you could, you could be here. Uh, uh, ecstatic that, that, that it went so well, looking forward to, uh, to further interactions, uh, uh, thanking again the vision of SMART to, to help have this uh, event take place, and uh, look forward to interacting with many of you for the, the years to come. So have a very good uh, remainder of your time here, have a safe trip back, and thank you again.